Good morning and welcome to another one of Drew's Book Reviews. So, today's book, we are going to be reviewing The Fall of Shannara, The Black Elfstone by Terry Brooks. Uh, so, The Fall of Shannara is going to be the last of the Shannara books. It's, uh, as I understand, supposed to be a four-book series. And in a way, it kind of makes me sad that Shannara is coming to an end. I have grown to absolutely love Terry Brooks' world of Shinar that he's created over something like 30 books now, and I've absolutely have read every last one of them. Just a fantastic writer. Uh, for those who don't know, Shinar is a world that is set far into the distant future of Earth after a global apocalypse, and society as we know it has been all but destroyed, and it's left to reorganize itself essentially from what is left of humanity but not just humanity we also have the trolls and we have the elves we have the reestablishment of the druid order which the whole Shinar world is about the battle or the struggle for survival between the humans the elves the trolls and the druids of Pedernor so the fall of Shannara being the final epic story of this whole world of Shannara that will be written. Which is just, to me it's sad anyway, because I've absolutely come to love the world of Shannara. So in the Black Elf Stone we have Drisker Ark, who is a druid living in exile from Paranor. As uh, Paranor struggles with an unstable leadership, Paranor being the home of the Druids, and he finds himself being the target of an assassin for hire, which he soon learns is tied into this greater plot of this army that can f disappear and reappear anywhere, who is out to destroy all those who come across their path. Uh, so they have invaded Paranor, the Druids keep, and what are the Druids make their home and train and live and learn and study magic. And the Paranor has been invaded and Drisker Ark finds himself in the middle of this, being one of the sole remaining druids left alive in the entire world after this rather successful invasion of Paranor. Despite being a druid in exile and ex-druid, he finds he is the only one left. And he he is left with the burden of trying to keep the Druid Order alive. But he finds himself locked away, unable to do anything separate from the rest of the world, in a place where he can never be found. And who knows if he'll be able to find his way back. We just don't know. But hey, there's three more books coming, so we'll see what happens with with his story arc there. And then we have the story of Tarsha and Tavil Kanan. Um, this is, for me, the most interesting of the storylines going on within this book. So Tarsha has sought out the Druid Drisker Ark as a trainer and a teacher, even though he's a Druid in exile, to teach her how to use magic so that she could save her brother, Tavo. Now, what's really interesting about this is uh, both Tarsha and Tavo live in an area where magic is viewed as suspect dangerous to be shunned something that is hated and mistrusted but both of them find that they have been born with this ability to use magic specifically the magic of the wish song and the wish song is one of the most fascinating things within the shinara world and i absolutely love the idea behind this is that the wish song gives the user the ability through the power of their voice to manipulate the reality and existence of the natural world around them simply by the power of their voice they can cause life or death destruction or creation as an extremely extremely powerful form of magic uh, tasha finds out when she is young or tarsha pardon me finds out when she is young that she has this ability to use the wish song to create life and search to practice it and to try and learn how to control and use it and she gets really good at it and she learns about it and she's able to control it her brother Tavo however however goes insane it drives him to insanity 
uh, he becomes taken over by this power. It begins to control him. And it turns him into this deadly, insane maniac who has no control. And he's filled with hate and anger constantly. And the contrast between the two characters within this book I find absolutely fascinating. And I absolutely love how the two could be so diametrically imposed in the effects of this magic, of this powerful magic that they both possess. So Tarsha really wants to save her brother, uh, which is certainly understandable. She wants to find a way to save him from the effects that the wish song magic has had on him. At this point, we don't know what's going to happen with him, but I'm really looking forward to finding out just overall, Shannara is a fantastic series of books. They are great reads. I really enjoyed every one of them. And I really, really enjoyed the Black Elf Stone. And I have no doubt I'm going to enjoy the next one in this series, uh, which I expect to be released later this year. So definitely, if you've not read any Shannara, absolutely pick it up. You might want to start with the Elf Stones of Shannara. But overall... Just a fantastic world. And I'm really sad that the fall of Shinar will be the final Shinar Chronicle uh, that will be published because it's just been wonderful, wonderful reading and just a great set of books all around. Really, really recommend it. And as always, thank you so much for joining in. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe below. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Andrew's Book Review, Facebook.com, uh, of course, as well with Andrew's Book Reviews on Facebook. And all links will be in the comments or will be in the description below, of course. And don't forget to check out my next review, which will be coming up, Michael Crichton's Dragon Teeth. So don't forget to check into that. And again, thank you so much for watching. And you have yourself a fantastic day.